Um, just want to start off saying thank you to everybody here. Having us here, this is really cool. It's good for our program, good for our kids. Um, I'll just talk a little bit about our team. This is my first year here at Meigs County High School. We're a pretty inexperienced football team right now, um, but I think we're hungry. I think we have some talent and ability that's being developed in our younger classes. Um, on offense, we have six new starters. Uh, up front, we return two starters, and we have um, one, uh, one of our guards who's never played offensive line playing there. We have another sophomore who is playing. Um, very pleased with the progress that they've had. Um, that's probably the hardest position to play in football because there's a lot that goes on to that. You know, people change fronts, people bring blitzes. So those guys got to communicate and be all on the same page to get stuff blocked up, and they got to make that decision in just a few seconds. So uh, we've been very pleased with their progression so far. Um, at receiver, uh, we return one starter, Daniel Mao. Uh, he's been really good for us. He's been our slot receiver, been a guy that catches stuff on jet sweeps, um, our perimeter screens, things like that. And then we have two other new additions, uh, Brody Goins, who is going to be a junior. He's a baseball player. He came out uh, this past year. He's been really good for us. He's a sure-handed receiver. And uh, Bowen Combs, who is uh, really fast. He's been a baseball standout for us. Uh, so we feel like we're pretty athletic at that position, and we're, we're pretty strong there, too. Um, at our tight end H-back, we have at tight end, we have a few guys that are going to sort of platoon in that position, Landon Ricker, River Hickman, and Hunter Boyd. Um, and then our H-back position will be Keegan Linker, and Hunter Boyd will serve there as well. Uh, those are really strong kids. They play defense for us, so we kind of got to rotate them in that position. Uh, and then our quarterback position, our starting quarterback, will be Tough Ricker. He played receiver for us last year. Uh, he's a really gifted kid. Uh, he could throw the football really well. Right now, he's just having to transition from not ever playing quarterback. Uh, he can make plays with his legs. He's done a good job throwing the ball downfield for us. Uh, so we're, we're really happy about him. I think it makes it a lot harder on defenses when your quarterback is a dual threat. So hopefully uh, we can keep him healthy and uh, he can continue to produce for us. At our running back position is probably our where we have the most experience is Bryson Hefner. Um, he is probably the heart and soul of our team. Uh, he plays linebacker uh, for us on defense. He runs extremely hard. He'll block. Um, there's times where I think I need to get him out of the game because I think he's about to die, but he just keeps on going. So uh, really love the heart of that young man. Uh, and then on defense, we have six new starters as well. Uh, we have a whole new secondary uh, this year. So that's been a challenge, and seven on seven's been good for us. I think we've come along there pretty good. Uh, at linebacker, we have Bryson Hefner and Keegan Linker. Those are very physical football players. At our outside linebackers, Tough Ricker and uh, Monty Couture will be starting there. Um, they've done some good things for us, being able to play out in space. And our defensive line's probably our best position uh, as a team. It's Landon River, uh, Landon Ricker, River Hickman, Hunter Boyd and uh, Lucas Hughes. Uh, those guys have all played that position before. They played it last year. Those are three starters returning there. Um, they've done a good job for us. They're hard to block. Um, on defense, I'll just kind of talk about what we do. Uh, we try to be multiple. We try to mix up different fronts. Uh, all of it's the same. We just get into it different ways. Uh, I think it's really good to keep people off balance. I know from Colin plays, it's not very fun when you don't know what the other team's doing and why they're doing it. Uh, now, you don't want to get crazy with it and not get good at anything, but I think it's always good to be multiple in that way. And same thing on offense. We want to play with different personnel groupings. Um, we want to keep people off balance, like Coach Floyd said earlier. I think when you can create extra gaps and you can create mismatches, you're always going to be uh, in an advantageous situation. So um, special teams are kickers returning, and that's always good. Um, Michael Krasowskis. Um, so we're, we're happy about that. Anytime you have a good kicker, he's a weapon. So we're just we're, we're excited. Uh, this team is hungry. This team feels like it is unproven as well. And, and so we look forward to this year and, and, and getting to play on Friday nights. And I'll, I'll open it up at this time for any questions. Uh, Coach, who is the biggest rival and is the game at Megs this year or on the road? Our biggest rival is probably McMinn Central. I'd say um, 
and they're coached really well. Uh, Matt Moody does a tremendous job. He was offensive coordinator for Coach Floyd at Bradley Central. Uh, I think with them, you just got to come to the conclusion that they're going to score points, uh, and you got to figure out how to find a way to get a few stops in the game. Um, but we're looking forward to that rivalry. They're returning a whole lot of kids from last year, um, and they're a very talented team. Coach, you know, we've uh, carried your games now for seven or eight years uh, in, through the past, but I wanted to ask you, I see you brought a couple of your best players today. <laughs> and you know, your, your coach put me up to that, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I, I do want to ask you, uh, having, you know, been there calling uh, the, the game for the last couple of years, um, been so close in the final games, uh, how would you compare what you think this team is going to be for this year and, say, the past couple of years? I don't know. If I knew the answer to that question, I'd probably make a whole lot more money and I wouldn't be coaching here. Um, so, uh, you, you know, I, I think we have the talent and ability to, to do as much as we want to do. Um, what we have to do is mature as a football team, um, make sure we practice consistently each and every day, um, make sure we take care of the football and things like that. I certainly think the the, the talent is there, and I think we have a good group of kids. Um, but we need to stay healthy. We need a couple things to go our way, and I think we could be in that same position. All right. Thank you, guys.